Intestinal obstruction. Inability of the intestines to push food contents through the lumen, either because of mechanical or non-mechanical reasons, is known as intestinal obstruction. It is also known as bowel obstruction. Unique feature of the intestinal obstruction is dilatation of the intestinal segments proximal to the site of obstruction and collapse of segments distal to the obstruction. Anatomy. Intestines are part of the digestive system and the alimentary canal. Alimentary canal is approximately 7.5 meters in length. It is also called the gastrointestinal tract or gut. The main function of the organs of the alimentary canal is to provide nutrition to the body. Both the mouth and anus are open to the external environment. Pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small and large intestines are parts of the alimentary canal. In patients with intestinal obstruction, the dilated bowel contains a large amount of fluid, chyme, or gas. There is an increased peristalsis to push the content within the bowel beyond the obstruction. Bowel obstruction can also be due to bowel wall abnormality, such as tumor or stenosis, and also due to extrinsic causes such as adhesions and hernia. Intestinal obstruction can occur either in the small or large intestines. Small bowel obstruction accounts for 80% of all mechanical obstructions. The remaining 20% are large bowel obstructions. The obstruction can be partial or complete. Males and females are equally affected. Literature can be confusing for students when describing types of intestinal obstruction. You will come across terms such as closed loop obstruction, intraluminal, intramural, extramural, and others, and these are different ways to describe the condition in terms of etiology. But basically there are two main classifications, mechanical or functional. Mechanical obstruction is caused by a physical barrier. Following are some types of mechanical obstruction. Adhesions, which are fibrous bands of scarred tissue that develop within the abdominal cavity after surgery. The word adhesion is from adhering, which means sticking together. Adhesions cause tissues and organs to stick together. Adhesions are the most common cause of intestinal obstruction. Tumor within the intestinal lumen, which physically obstructs the lumen of the intestines. Hernia, which is an abnormal protrusion of an organ such as an intestine through an abnormal hole in the wall of the cavity in which it normally resides. Intussusception, which affects very young children, usually under two years of age. It happens when one part of the intestines slides into the other, much like the piece of a telescope. One part of the intestines folds into the other. It is a life-threatening condition which can either be treated with the help of a radiological procedure or otherwise needs urgent surgery. Volvulus. A volvulus is defined as a loop of intestine which is twisted around itself creating a knot, resulting in a bowel obstruction.